This is part 14 of C tutorial series. In today's session, we'll discuss what are data types and what are the different data types that we have in C language and what is an ASCII table and what is the importance of ASCII table in C language. Data types specify the size, type of data and the range of value that an object can accommodate. Here, I have used a new term called object. So what does it mean? As per C standards, object is nothing but a name or region of storage. It can be a variable or a structure or an array or a union. For example, here I have declared a variable called value and its data type is int. In our previous sessions, we have discussed that if we declare a variable based on its data type, some amount of memory will be allocated for that variable. Here, the data type that we used is int. So, when we execute this program, 4 bytes of memory will be allocated for this variable. Let's assume this as a 4 bytes of memory allocated for this variable. And this is the address range of these 4 bytes. If you clearly observe here, we can able to access these 4 bytes of memory using this variable name. We can call these 4 bytes as a name or region of storage. Means, we can able to access this region of storage using a name, which is nothing but an object. So, always remember that if I use the term object in any of my further sessions, it means that it is a name or region of storage. Means it can be a variable or an array or a structure or union and etc. Now, this data type specify how much size should be allocated for this object, whether 1 byte or 2 byte or 4 or 8 and so on. And what type of data that an object can store, whether it's a decimal or a decimal point data. In computer, the way how decimal point values will get stored is completely different when compared to decimal values because decimal point values follow IEEE 754 floating point standard to store values in binary format. Let's don't worry about this right now. You'll understand this clearly while going further. And finally, we have the range. Data type specifies what range of values that an object can store. For example, if the data type is of type char, then this is the range of values that you can able to store in a character variable. If you give the value out of this range, then as per C standards, the behavior is undefined. I hope you understood what is meant by data type. As per C standards, data types are classified into two types. They are basic data types and derived data types. In basic data types, the values such as decimal or integer type values can be stored using char or in data types. And decimal point or floating point values such as 3.14, 2.37 and etc. These values can be stored using float or double data type. And next, we have derived data types. Without basic data types, you cannot create a derived data type. By using these basic data types, programmer can create derived data types based on his requirement. In C standard, data types such as arrays, functions, pointers, structures and unions were added under the list of derived data types. We'll discuss all these concepts in our upcoming sessions. Like Unicode character set in Java, every programming language has its own character set. For example, C language follows ASCII character set, where a 8-bit decimal value used to represent each and every character. We call this decimal value as an ASCII value. Let's say there is a requirement where I have to read full name as an input from user and have to store it in a memory location. Here, the name we got as an input from user is George. I cannot directly store these characters in computer memory. First, these characters are converted to the respective ASCII values. And later, these ASCII values are converted to binary values and it will be stored in memory location. In C, for each and every character in this keyboard, we have an equivalent ASCII value. This table depicts the list of characters that are supported in C programming language with their equivalent ASCII values. You will understand this clearly when we discuss about char data type. Before winding up this session, I would like to show you some basic memory measurement units that are really required to understand about data types. In computer memory, each bit can hold one binary value whether 0 or 1 and 1 nibble equal to 4 bits. So we can able to store 4 bits of information in this nibble and 1 byte equal to 2 nibbles or 8 bits. 
similarly 2 bytes equal to 16 bits and 4 bytes equal to 32 bits this information is sufficient to proceed with our next session let's see a quick summary on what we have discussed today data types specify the size type of data and the range of value that an object can accommodate care int float and double comes under basic data types and arrays structures functions unions and pointers comes under derived data types for each and every character there is an equivalent ascii value in c in computer memory one nibble equal to four bits whereas one byte equal to eight bits that's it for this session in our next session we'll discuss about char and in data types thank you for listening see you later in next session